One of the fundamentals of computer programming is understanding variables. I'm going to demonstrate using a web page here how to declare a variable, assign a value, a value to the variable, and then use that variable. I've set up a web page here that has a simple label and a button on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click the button and that's going to take me to the click event. So anything that I code inside of this click event will run when I click the button. The first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate how to declare a string variable. A string variable is nothing more than a sequence of characters. Uh, there's no mathematical operations that can be performed on a string variable. It's just simply a, a series of characters. So to, to, to declare the string variable, first I, I type the data type, which is string, and then I give it a name, which I'll just call it my string. And then as any uh, line in C sharp, I'm going to, ev ev after every statement, I will always put a semicolon. So that's how you declare the string variable. I'm just saying I want to use a string called my string. I will now assign a value to the, the string variable, my string equals. Now anything that I type after equals, I'm going to put it in quotations because we can put whatever we want in there, any series of characters. I'm going to just put hello YouTube kind of a take off the old hello world program and again my semicolon and now the label on my web page is called label one so I'm going to use the label one text property and I'm going to say that is going to equal my string I hit uh, caps lock my string so basically what this does is it declares the variable it assigns a value and then it uses the variable to display on the label one text property. So I can save this and we can test it out by debugging and what's going to happen is it's going to come up in our web browser and basically show you the button with a label that says nothing has been run yet but when we click the button it's going to take the new variable that we created and display it as the text property of the label one label. It's as simple as that. Okay, now I'm going to close that and I'm going to delete what I've written and I'm going to use instead of uh, instead of string variables, I'm going to use an integer var variable. Just like we did with the string, we first type the, the data type and I'm just going to use a, B, and C. Integer A, B, and C. I can declare all three of them at the same time, just separated with a comma. Uh, I'm going to do a little mathematical uh, assignment here. I'm going to say A equals 5 and B equals 10 and C equals a plus B. All legal. Uh, I've simply taken and declared the variables. I've assigned a, a, a value to A and B and C, but I used A and B to assign the value to C. Now we can take the label again and display the answer, C, as the text property of the label. The problem is, in order to be used as a text property, the value type or the variable type needs to be a string variable. And since we are using an integer, C is an integer, we can't use it directly. We must convert it to a string, which is really actually simple. I'll show you how that's done at the end of the statement. Label one dot text equals C dot and you can see when I hit the dot operator it gives me several things one of them is to string it's a method so I have to use 
the parentheses. I won't get into that now. And that's the end of the statement. So <coughs> we have declared the three variables, assigned them all values, and took the answer, converted the integer into a string, and used that as a text property for the label. Now I'm going to save all and run that. And we should see just as we did before when we used our string variable, a button with the label that says we haven't done anything yet, nothing has been run yet, but when we run it, it should give us the answer 15. And so it looks like it worked. That is a basic rundown of how to assign, how to declare variables, assign variables of value, and use those variables. There's very, there's a, a, an array of different data types that you can use in C Sharp. I'm not going to get into that with this video. This was just a basic how to use, how to declare, use, and uh, assign values to variables. Any questions, please ask them in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.